Hey everybody, so welcome back to another tutorial and today we're going to be restyling Fable Thorn's hair. So um, her restyle is going to be pretty straightforward because you can see that her hairstyle have a cohesion between all mediums. Like the little color fringe is going to be a, a loose curl just hanging on the front and the rest of her ponytail is just going to be some wavy curls. So you're going to need a brush or a comb, a big bowl and a slightly smaller bowl for the hot water, a normal hair conditioner of any sort, a spring bottle, a pair of scissors, and of course lots of bobby pins and several different size straws. And as usual, the first step to any restyle is to give the doll's hair a nice brushing before you wash her hair. Then give her hair a nice brush through and she's ready to go. Alright, so now the next step is going to be boil washing her hair and since I have done that so many times in my previous video, so I'm just gonna link you guys to a earlier video where I did a tutorial in detail for that part. So for those who want to know how that's done, you can go check out that video first. And after you're done washing, just kind of like separate out her colored fringes from the rest of her hair and just leave them like this and wait for her hair to dry. Alright, we're back and her hair is already dry so we can move on with the curling. So just make sure you tie back her ponytail into like this little high bouncy one. Alright, so just get your straw and get your bobby pins ready as well and we'll start curling. The first thing you want to do is just miss the hair just a little bit so it's easier to handle. Mist it a little bit so they're not like flying all over the place. Comb it out nice and smooth. And then we're going to curl the hair backwards like this. And then make sure you cover your little outer piece as well. And after you've secured the straws onto the hair, just put in the bobby pins and there we have one piece. The fringe! Alright, so now we're moving on to the back of the hair. A little piece of hair as usual. Just wet it a bit, wrap the hair. And cover it with your outer piece. Cut the excess parts. Slide in the bobby pins and there we have another curl. Phew! <laughs> so the next step is going to be dipping her hair in the hot water to permanently set the curl. So this process is basically exactly the same as boy washing. So for those who are new you can go check out that video first. But right now I'm gonna go dip her hair in the hot water and then I'll be right back to undo the curlers. So while we wait for her hair to dry, I'm going to spend this time by repainting some of her accessories. So first up, I'm going to use a little bit of grey acrylic paint to repaint the tops and the bottom parts of her boots to resemble like the way they're seen in the webisode. Next up, I mixed a little bit of green, white and blue for a shade of teal and to achieve the gems on her jewellery. Now here comes my favorite part, so just spray a little bit of glitter while the paint is still wet to give the gems that extra sparkle. Pixie dust! Shake it off! And bling! <laughs> Do the same on her earrings as well. Glitterify it. And I got carried away and decided to go for the boots as well. But hey, there's no such thing as too much glitter, right? <laughs> And my glasses decided to make an appearance as well. Forgive them. Now moving on to her outfit and I'm gonna be using this little piece of foil tinsel from one of my doll props that I got for my photo shoots to achieve that little glittery trim that she has on the edges of her dress. So you will need craft glue for this part and some toothpicks as well. So the plan is to align the tinsel on the edges of her dress and then use the craft glue to glue them down like this and we'll go all the way around as well the nozzle of my glue bottle is broken so i had to use a toothpick to get the glue and apply it on the dress first but i feel that way is much more easier than applying directly from the nozzle of the bottle cut the piece of foil that you need and carefully apply it on her dress and then press firmly to secure it you may need to hold it down for a while depending on the time that your glue needs to dry and there we've got one. So right now just repeat the same pattern to the rest of our trimmings. And we're done. All right, we're gonna take out the curlers from her hair and style it. So it's pretty simple, just slide out 
the pins up and down and then just carefully also take out or slide out the upper little piece like this and then just slide out the rest of the straw and we have our little bouncy girl oh my god I love it so much and she is ready oh my god I am so happy with how she turned out I'm gonna walk you through how I styled her so for the little front fringe what I did is that I just used this to comb it out just a little bit so that it's not like a actual curl but more of like a wavy ish um, loose curls just like on the show so I'm really happy with how the bangs turn out and then moving on to the back and of course you can see her sparkly earrings that we painted that are now ready on her and for the necklace and the wings I decided to leave them just the way that they are because I like that the necklace is silver so it kind of pops more compared to the black underneath and I still like the darker tone of the wings as well so I decided not to make them lighter and here is the back of her hair they are so pretty and just so bouncy I love bouncy curls I don't know I just have a thing for bouncy curls and here are her jewelry that we painted earlier again I really really love how it turned out the dark emerald that is like shining on her oh and you may notice that I decided to cut off the little bridge between her bracelet and her rings because they weren't connected in the episode and I prefer them not connected so I did that here are the shoes so the top and the bottom are painted gray and of course we threw in a little bit of glitter as well to add some magic and finally we had the little um, sparkly edges that we did for her skirt and I chose this material because I love the fact that it has an actual texture to it on the surface so it looks more of like an actual fabric that's a part of her dress. I think this is one of my favorite restyles that I have ever done and I'm so happy with how she turned out. And then finally, as a final touch, I used some silvery threads to wrap around her bodice to resemble the ropes that she has in the webisode. Um, I know they're not um, silver in there but I kind of chose this glittery metallic silver threads just to make her pop more and it's kind of more fancy you know and of course I also did a little bit on her shoes as well so I guess that wraps up my ever after high fable thorn hair restyle and repaint tutorial so I really hope you guys enjoy the video and love how she turned out as much as I did I am so happy about this video and I can say that she will be one of my very favorite restyles that I have done so far so anyways thank you so much for watching the tutorial and right now please enjoy a few photos of Fabel and I will see you all soon in my next video so bye